knowledge of the game. So I think a lot of the main thing here is I feel Morris in particular wins most matchups like 85% of the time, and then it boils down to like them trading on like in a bad trade or them just getting nicked, and then all of a sudden they get edge guarded. Yeah. Like I feel like Marth will do like 600 damage in the set, and they can like per game and then lose. Mm. Yeah, a lot of people. Some people say that Marth is very easy to edge guard if, as long as you're confident in the edge guard. So we'll see what happens right now. One thing I really noticed about Duck in this matchup, especially in neutral, is that he really loves to dash and grab a lot. It's one of his like little things that he likes to do, and he has a lot of Dart experience when Dart was still playing a lot. Mm. Stylistically, Dart and Moon are very, very different, though. Yeah. The Moon is kind of like, a, I'm going to corner you or put you in a platform, and then I'm going to wait for you to do something. The Moon loves throwing out hitboxes. Uh, let me phrase that, smart hitboxes. Ooh, doesn't... A isn't able to turn around for that up B, so he gets edge guarded. A 60% death is actually really bad <laughs> in this matchup. Oh, for sure. They should uh, be living for quite some time. Especially in the case of this, where an average duck hit's going to only be like 10%. That's like five openings that duck didn't have to get to get the kill. Dude, good down air on a shield. There's a lot of things that are very punishable um, against Samus when Samus hits your shield. A lot of Samus' moves are very slow and have a lot more lag than people think. Right. So we see the running grab again, no punish. And on the re reverse end of things, Samus doesn't have as much that she can do when she gets hit out of shield, or in shield. But because of that upbeat mistake, instead of um, Samus going off the stage and possibly dying, the moon actually took an extra 40 damage. So this lead is all because of the moon making these little mistakes that are actually very critical. Yeah, so he needs to clean up some of that too. So he's just kind of waiting. So that's his game plan. He likes to put you in the corner and say, like, you have to do something eventually. And so he really thrives on like you doing your panic roll, your panic move, or pressing buttons. Mm. But most of like, the top tier players, they kind of recognize the situation that Moon won't go forward, and they can just hold their space. Gotcha. That should kill, 185, the meaty yeah. keeper. Duck definitely lived for a long time there. Moon's going to try to push in more. Probably has to be a little bit more aggressive. I mean, I think the Moon overall is playing OK. It's just that he's making a couple mistakes that are uncharacteristic of him. The early SD, uh, missing a punish, but Duck doing so well. Uh, prior to the set, he actually was playing with Smash God, so he was prepping okay. and just warming up. Makes a lot of sense. I'm not sure if the Moon was practicing against Hugs or someone else. But we still have a long set. This is a best of five, so... The Moon, you know, is known for losing game once and then figuring you out. So maybe he's just going to try to get as much information as he can. All right, safely up Bs. Ooh, Ooh good grab. Very tricky. Ooh, the tipper. Good stuff. Two stocks to one in Duck's favor. He's just getting nicked a little bit too much. Reverse hitbox Nair gets him off the stage. Oh, and he upbeat out. early. That was smart. And Duck kind of had a read on that. He was calling out that the moon was going to go early, but he still got hit. So clean two stock. That was actually quite a big win. Mm. Uh, when you look at Marth versus Samus, it should typically go close. And a two stock, I consider to be like a three to four stock in another matchup, just with how many neutral openings you need to get a kill. That makes a lot of sense. We always say, like, oh, one stock is not a lead. In certain matchups, it's a significant lead. Yeah, this like, is one of them. Yeah, definitely, like, Samus Peach is another one. One stock makes a huge difference. And I always, like, say, like, how many openings does it take on average to get a kill? And if it's really high, then you say one stock's a lead. Whereas, you know, if it's, like, a zero-to-death fest, like, Marth versus Fox, for example, then one stock's not a lead. Ooh. Almost gets hit by the dare. Duck gets a nice up B out of that, though. A little bit of tech flubbing from both players. Ooh, good weight on the side B. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Even though he gets hit by the up B, he has all the time in the world to follow up on it. There's so much landing lag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like the little things you have to be disciplined about because of just the low hit lag. You don't want to be too greedy on getting a hit, and that's right. what happened to the moon on that particular stock and interaction. Ooh, and you got a little anxious right there, hitting, hitting up with that forward smash. He's trying to steal the kill. He needs to be smart, though, and not just go for it. Down tilt could be a good option right here. Unless he sweet spots it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> he rolls right into a down smash. Duck ready to react. And this is actually a really uh, annoying percent 
for Mark to deal with. Of course, you could just play neutral and just constant reset by position, but the Moon's not really establishing good position, and he's having a hard time getting hits. I know PPMD complains when they say like Mark doesn't have kill power because PP's line of re thought is, I'm just going to keep resetting neutral and keep putting myself in good positions to just keep hitting you, mm. even if you don't have like the kill power. The duck really... <laughs> the duck, I'm mixing up the names. The duck's really good at being evasive right now. Adding one hit at a time, it seems like the moon's a little bit desperate to find something. <laughs> that charge shot was gross. And that's because the moon's just constantly trying to go in. He's trying to find some sort of opening that will work, and Duck called him out on it. Yeah, he's being anxious. He needs to just be smarter with his plays overall right now. And now we're seeing the moon cut back, but we see that corner pressure, right, where the moon will kind of wait for you to do something, but Duck's not biting. Good tech on the platform right there by Moon, able to get back into where he, he wants to be. Can he get something out of this corner position? He's not getting anything. The Moon's stuck towards the right side of the stage, and he's not... Okay, finally gets a grab. Yeah, and, and Doug's being smart. When he sees his shield uh, is starting to whittle down, he's wave dashing back, putting himself out of a uh, bad position. Yeah, and it's unfortunate sequence there. Now the Moon in the corner, and bad DI. Can, can he make it back? Ooh, gets hit by the get-up yeah. attack. Duck will take 11% there, though. He w this is such a huge lead. Yeah, it's not looking good for the moon. And so we see this pressure from the moon, but nothing's coming out of it. And the duck ends up coming out of that situation with the Basically opening. unscathed, yeah. And in those spots, you kind of imagine if the Marth has you cornered, you're going to win that exchange like eight times out of ten, and he's not winning any of those. And it, like I said, every time he gets stuck in shield, Ducks just finds the options. Well, he went from wave dash backs, and that one time he went for a jump out of shield. So, oh! oh, the power shield. That was <laughs> gross. Even Ducks smiling from that one. The moon let out a little bit of a smirk. Okay. Low percentage, so he should be able to combo and like add a couple of fares if he finds the right opening. Low percentage, Marth. Always, you know, really nice. This edge has to be tricky. Okay. Yeah, that's hard. He's got a sweet spot. So he has Duck in the corner, and he's adding damage. So this stock is a lot cleaner. Okay, what's he going to do? Get hit by an F-tilt. <laughs> Ooh, nice patience waiting for that fair. Ooh. Dash attack will do it. And you don't really expect that from Samus. It's like, aren't they just going to wave dash back, wave dash back? It's like, no. Like, sometimes they can actually, you know, dash attack your right. approach. Okay. Ooh. Still should be living, not a tipper. Right. Just got to hold in. I like that he's pressuring his recovery. But fortunately gets hit. It's not going to do it? Oh, it is. Okay. Up B has a lot of knockback. Because you want to have your presence there. But like if you go too close, then you get hit. So it's like kind of frustrating because you want to exert pressure. But if you don't space correct, then you end up getting hit and losing your position that you really work hard for. Mm, and right there, Moon swatted away a missile and gets punished for it. Down B Another, into... Another... That was a JV3, actually, so it was more than just a simple two-stock. Duck looking quite dominant. The Moon's going to need to find answers. When he puts Duck in the corner, he's not getting enough. Right. So we'll see. Can he make the adjustments that he needs to come back in the set? Down 2-0. He started off strong last time, and then Duck just found opening after opening, and... He's doing the right mix-ups. He understands what the moon is looking for. He seems to have a good idea, more so than what the moon thinks of what Duck's going to do. Yeah, and overall, like Duck's just picking smarter options, while the moon seems to be um, a little bit more persistent with doing the same thing. But he's doing a lot of damage with Duck in the corner, a lot more. But Duck is so good at finding out in the corner that it's saving him yeah, so much. Yeah, and that cross-up up smash, or forward smash was very tricky, and he hits him with another forward smash right there. Yeah, 95% is a lot, but he's going to be living for a good bit longer. Yeah, unless the moon can set up something nice. Right now, the, what's, bleh, right, what the moon needs to do is just play position, just nick one throw, one down tilt, one fair at a time. Mm. Okay. Just play position, let duck land, and then just hit him again. Yeah, I'm surprised the moon isn't sharking from below as much as he could be. Unfortunately, he just gambled too hard there. I didn't like that forward smash. It added 30% to him on his next stock, so Duck has an even larger lead. Ooh, gets hit by that missile. 
Edge guard. Ooh, I like the up tilt. No jump. But he sweet spots. And <laughs> that's one of the more tricks I always get tricked by, where they uh -huh. just get up on the ledge and just forward smash. Mm. It's so simple. <laughs> yeah. Because most people expect like the nair off the ledge or forward air, so you can right. try to outspace it. But if you play too far back, it's like, oh, forward smash. <laughs> And I just gotta say, Duck is picking his spots really Very well. Very well, yeah. And every time the moon is jumping into him, the Duck duck is just outspacing and just hitting him with forward smash and forward tilts and up airs. Or um, up tilts, rather. Yeah, as you say that, though, a little bit of bad combo DI, and Duck is hit by a lot. Yeah. Not sure if he had the grapple. The moon realized that, too. Yeah, and power shield, but it doesn't do much because Duck still had invincibility. And that's good news for the moon because that's one of the lower percentage, low effort kills that he's gotten in this entire set. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, those little nicks that Duck's finding. A little late, he needed to do the down smash the other way. So that's why it came out a little late. Yeah, he was able to spot dodge out of that. Let's see what the moon can get. Oh, oh down smash was an interesting option, but he went a little too fast. And one thing is that Duck is catching the jumps, so whenever the moon is jumping into Duck, Duck has a good hitbox that's just beating it. Yeah. <laughs> don't mind the charge shot, but I prefer to hold it, although I don't play Samus. Kind of makes the moon have to think twice in neutral. And the down smash beat out the getup attack right there. That was interesting. It's going to be interesting because the moon is shielding a lot around Duck. I wonder when the grab the grapples are going to come back. Yeah, is Duck going to notice that? We'll see. Ooh. Up air, not the best option off ledge. Yeah, he did it again and gets hit by it again. Ooh, Ooh good tipper. tipper. Okay. Not bad. Duck being a little patient waiting for the stage. The moon's going to have to play clean. <laughs> <laughs> nice, two clinks in a row. That was cute. Thought they were going to add a third one. Good patience by Moon right there. Good dash attack, and the Moon's oh. in the air. Can we get the edge guard? All right, it looks like off stage or off on the other stream. Drug Fox just beat uh, Sweetest Delight. Ooh, that's unfortunate. And that's it, 3-0 by the Samus main. The Moon did make some good adjustments that last game, but it just quite wasn't enough. Yeah, I mean, I think just Duck just found the right spot.